Hey guys, to make sure you keep getting great content from us, definitely hit subscribe and consider leaving us a nice review. It helps us know how we can improve the show and helps us to find a larger audience. Hello again and welcome to the BitHub Podcast. I'm Thaddeus. And I'm Dan. And this is episode 12, take three. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> in today's episode, we're going to be talking briefly about our time at the Double Toasted Live in Toronto event, and then... Uh, we're also going to get into the Death Stranding trailer that just released. And finally, we're going to talk about our feelings on this movie called Booksmart. And I think uh, feelings is the key word here. Got them feels. <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's start the show. Dan, how have you been? Uh, not too bad. How's the how's the wall treatment going? Oh, it's going well, yeah. Doing it's, some painting? Yeah, you can't see it, but right now the BitHUD studio has a bunch of different gray paint splotches all over the place because we are currently paint repainting it or planning to repaint it next month. Yo, we need a red wall. A red. <laughs> then it'll be like the icon. <laughs> and then we'll just do our silhouettes. <laughs> <laughs> should do that. <laughs> just is like, like stand here while the guys come and paint around us. it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but people walk by like, yo, why is Mario and Luigi on your wall? <laughs> 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 That's one of our cosplays. There's Miles Morales, Mario Luigi. Mario Luigi should be another one of the. Uh, <laughs> well, then what else was it? Samuel Hung and, and Arsenio oh, Hall. We really have to cosplay for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just got to grow suits. your hair out. got to grow my hair out and just wear some suits, and then we wear that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we really should do that. Yeah. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> I'm worth it down for I'm worth it down for any of them. We'll be like, yeah, what do you think of our cosplay? <laughs> We're just wearing like 90s suits, like the slacks. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? Are and you we should like... also do our own version of Booksmart. I mean, because Booksmart is the girl remake of, of Superbad. We should do the ethnic remake of Superbad. <laughs> you're, you're Jonah Hill, I'm, I'm Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, isn't that what this whole show is? Yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> hey guys, um, I'm really I'm kind of shy, but what are you I talking about, man? You gotta talk like uh, those like uh, those like super laid back like us. Yo, man, <laughs> you know those like the sleepy dudes, the sleepy dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, aside from that, anything else going on in your life? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Nothing else, you know. I hit some uh, roti before coming over here. Uh-huh. Fuck, I found peanut punch. I can't find that shit no, anywhere yeah. in this fucking place. You gotta go to a Caribbean restaurant for well, that. Well, no, because I tried D's and they never have it. Oh, really, eh? All they got is the Jolly Rogers. <laughs> 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 the pineapple and the, uh, what was that, that? The ginger beer. Yeah, ginger beer is a uh, that, That's where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> and do they have the grapefruit one? They don't, but they okay. have the what, the fruit punch, the red one. Okay, okay. Or the white one, which yeah. I think is their cream soda. Is it cool? Yeah, no, they have gold. cream soda. There's cream soda, but like... There's the gold cream soda, too. I don't yeah, know. I've never tried that one, but no, I have, I've had the clear cream, cream soda. Yo, man, roti's where it's at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not even lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess, I mean, other than that, both of us had the Double Toasted event come up last last saturday yeah so we were in toronto yeah and funny thing that happened that same yeah. damn night <laughs> Some a funny thing happened before that because we it didn't it's not gonna be it's recording but i kind of casually brought up what <laughs> like what your plan is for the saturday and oh yeah and i was like oh nothing i'm gonna be chilling man <laughs> me, and, me and my girl are probably gonna go down to jurassic park and watch the game <laughs> and i was like you do know the double toasted events this Saturday too, right? <laughs> Total, on, the, on the Tuesday before, like I had four days to be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I forgot we bought these tickets back in February, yeah. or March, right? Yeah, it was around there. Oh my god! <laughs> but uh, no, it was pretty cool. Yeah. You yeah. Know, so yeah, leading up though, it was kind of a thing. Like it was, it was raining down so hard. People were pulling over on the side of the highway. Yeah. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah. Don't throw on your flashers. But if you pull over on the sideway, I can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't help that there's a Toronto Raptors game going on that day, too. Yeah, that it was game <clears throat> game six. Yeah, game five or six. Game six, they won. They're in the finals. What? <laughs> 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 
right? Yep. Kawhi not. <laughs> um, so yeah. shit got off the chain after we left the place. Yeah. We got U turned what three, oh, three it was times? Fucking un- uncountable. Now. We just no, said no. we'll drive this way until it's, it's like the apocalypse too because it's like it was foggy that night. It was foggy. There's no. It was like it was literally like The Walking Dead. Yeah. There was just rows of people yeah. walking around aimlessly. Guys on top of both of these cars. <laughs> I've never... Actually, no, I've seen Terrell get off the chain, yeah, but not yeah. like that. Not like that. Not in a while. No, not, not since like that one caravana. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> it's also because our teams tend to lose. Yeah, I mean, Canadian teams... Uh, what, what was the last one? Blue Jays in 92? 93 or something. 92, 93, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were starving for a team. <laughs> yeah. But as but for between all that, we did attend the double toasted show, and that was actually a fun time. Yeah, Corey and Martin. Yeah, Corey and Martin, and they brought uh, Chris Herman along as well. Who did his uh, rapid styles? <laughs> no, no, that's Ray. Ray. That was Ray. Yeah, Chris, Chris, oh, Chris, Chris Herman, Herman was yeah. the one that drove them across the border. Yeah, yeah, he, he, who had, yeah. was like terrified of the border patrol for some reason. White guy with two black guys in the car, and he's the one. Actually, no, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, on their show, they said it made it look like they were holding them hostage or something. Exactly. And trying to get their shot. But the Double Toast event, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, you've been a fan since way like, back. I guess like 2007. Yeah. I, I didn't get it that, that, yeah. that, that early. Yeah. Um, but no, they're actually like super. Low key guys, yeah, they, super down to earth, really friendly. Yeah, very friendly. Martin was getting down on yeah. that dance floor. He was crazy shaking moves. it. The crazy moves. <laughs> the cat daddy. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you haven't seen Double Toasted, definitely look them up. Yeah, that was www.doubletoasted.com. Or they're, they're on YouTube. Yeah, they're a huge influence on, on us. Definitely. Yeah. They're this just, uh, laid back style that we have. Yeah, but I mean, we'll just take that. They're much better than us. We, like, I they are even... much better than us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but it's a lot of movie reviews, TV reviews, just geek culture things. It's a lot of just sometimes it's like random chat about dumb shit that happens in the world. Yeah, they used to have uh, their gaming show, yeah, High the, Score. The Loading Bar and the High Score, yeah. yeah. Loading Bar was Loading Bar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although I, I loved high score. Yeah, high score is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, check them out. Their shows are, I mean, you can listen to all their stuff for free. There is a subscription service to get the live shows. But even if you just listen to their show, anything on SoundCloud or anything, you'd be, you're in for a good time. Or if you really want to get into it, watch them. Watch their actual videos because they'll splice the clips of the movies that they're talking yeah. about. And I, I'm, gonna be, I'm not going to be the first one to say this. Corey's laugh, infectious. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And and when Martin just leans back with that soulful, <laughs> spite dark comments, <laughs> he just brings out the darkness in such a smooth way. Yeah, but beware of his lean puns. He's the master of dad jokes as well. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> they go down smooth. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, if they ever came again, would you go? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah same. It's a no-brainer. And they, they posted some pictures of the events. We were we we're there. I mean, you won't be able to see me because someone has their phone right in front of my face. No, classic, classic Thaddeus <laughs> TJ style. <laughs> you can't see his face. That's right. <laughs> the elusive Mr. Thaddeus Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> but Dan is visible there. I'm just a floating just head. Just a floating head. He'll, There's can... an arm underneath my yeah. head. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we won't tell you where to look, but you can figure it out if you do look at the picture. Yeah, I've already shown my face. Yeah, you? there you go. <laughs> So yeah, well, I guess from there, we can just move on to the next topic, which is Death Stranding. Surprise drop! I yeah. did not know this was coming well, out. I heard, I heard some rumblings. Like, well, on the I internet. expected they were going to do yeah. it a little bit closer yeah. to E3 just to kind of take the steam out. Yeah, well, there's like rumblings about this and um, Last of Us 2. Last of Us 2, yeah. So, when it's a, but yeah, the, 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 I think yesterday, out of nowhere, they just dropped this nine-minute trailer. and I was at work and I was like... Death Stranding trailer's out. Yeah. <laughs> Release date's out yeah. there. <laughs> so, yeah, with that, I mean, I don't know. I watched nine minutes, and I probably don't know any more about the game than I did before that. No, no, no. We got a little bit of a better idea. Yeah, we have we have some idea. I mean, well, well you saw, narratively. You saw gameplay as Narratively, well. yeah. I saw some gameplay. Narratively. Narratively, I don't know what the hell's exactly, going on. Yeah. So... <laughs> From what I from what I could guess, it looks like it's got a bit of like an, it's an open world stealth game, kind of model after MGS Five, but there also seem to be a lot of exploration and survival mechanics 
Yes. And there's like he's a lot of device like a ladder and like a, he's made something like go across from one cliff to the other. Yeah. And, and he had a motorcycle that it was turned like, into a bike, uh, turned into a suit or something. Yeah. And Did it turn into a suitcase. I, saw, I think the suitcase turns into because he always has a giant. It turned he, into his backpack. Yeah, he has a giant backpack running, walking around, and I mean, with that, it makes the combat look clunky. It or? did look really clunky, but you know what? I'm okay with that if yeah. it's a stealth game. Yeah. Because it's not supposed games, to be fighting. Fighting is the last resort. It actually makes sense if you're wearing crap on your back. Like yeah. what, he looks like he's carrying part cyborg on him. Yeah. He, like when uh, C3PO in Star Wars is all busted up. It looks like he has a, a camping <laughs> knapsack made out of like scrap metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, yeah, so that's all I can really get out of it. But uh, the gameplay looks interesting mm-hmm. because they showed him in the uh, one world. There's two worlds yeah, in this. There's one there's is sort of time like a world jumping. One is like a desolate field. Yeah. Um, with green and a lot of yellows and blues. And then there's another part that looks like World War Two or. Or it looks like uh, like they went back in time. Yeah. Or there's some kind or of. Or just like the souls of the damned are there. Yeah. Because there's a part where he switches and it's all black and yeah. red. And it kind of seems like there might be something going on where. Depending on which realm you're in, you can be seen or not be seen. Like the people can run or walk around you, and not necessarily interact with you. Yeah. And I feel the whole thing. They keep on drawing, drawing, nailing the whole point of um, connection. And some people think it's it's just like some kind of internet thing. And who knows? Maybe there is. Maybe there is some kind of thing like a Dark Souls thing. Or maybe the more people who play, the more you unlock. I don't know. But I see connection as connecting the different periods you're jumping between or different dimensions you're jumping between whatever it is you're not in one world or time i think it's actually a connection to the dead the dead because Death at Stranding. the end there's a guy who the obviously the bad guy is it mickelson yeah 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 where he's you know he's lighting up a cigar he yeah. looks badass yeah. he's like popping out of the water like he's so calm yeah he lights well, that, a cigar that's a very um apocalypse now i made yeah it's right at, right out of that exactly yeah. and then he's like don't worry i always have a connection yeah lights a cigarette five skull dudes dressed in gi yeah. joe yeah. gear pop out so i figured like those are his dead soldiers yeah that could very well be you it, know man. and then as long as you have a connection to the dead you can be seen, which would make sense for Norman Reedus's character, mm-hmm. who doesn't give a shit yeah. about America or bringing back the yeah. de- bringing back people or bringing back the country, which is why he'd be able to sneak around. This is what goes on in my mind at like four a.m. <laughs> I need to stay up later then. Oh my god! Well, you I didn't sleep last night. Yeah. I had nightmares, which uh, we'll be yeah, we'll be leading to that. We'll soon. soon find out, but it looks interesting because it looks like I told you this. It looks like. Uh, the style of Metal Gear, yeah, but with the play with sort of the mechanics of uh, Ocarina of Time, where yeah. you're switching between the two worlds that and affect each other. Also, the style of Metal Gear kind of cross with H.P. Lovecraft. It's kind of like this weird, bit of a horror, yeah, weird horror style to it. Well, you have a baby inside of a jar, yeah, or inside of someone's mouth. I yeah. couldn't decide I know, what it's it was. Inside of some kind of container, <laughs> yeah, and it like, winks at you and all that, and. It's very early two thousand or early ninety six PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> like before the yeah. two squirrels, but yeah. before the two black squirrels came yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I am interested in the story. Hideo, Hideo Kojima always goes batshit crazy with the stories. I mean, Metal Gear Solid it was kind of started. Not realistic, but you know, grounded to a degree. It, it, it was, it got high content and philosophical towards the end, but not anything for the original Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't get. It wasn't like mind fuck. It didn't get to the mind fuckery until Metal Gear Solid Two. Oh my God, yeah. Metal Gear Solid Two. Yeah. Like, the, the, the I biggest, still love that game. No, same though. Here, same I still here. love it. But it's just like with each one, they just got crazier and crazier. Like I kind of dropped off at three. Really? Yeah. Did you beat four? I, I played four. I never beat it. Oh my god, so... I saw the ending, though. Okay. Yeah. But you didn't get to do the the crawl. <laughs> when he's crawling through the nuclear area. No, I guess not. Because no. then you're like, come on, snake. <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you know, it was like that pinnacle hero yeah. moment. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, it was for free on PS Plus a couple months ago. Yes, it was. And I downloaded it, so I got it on my PS3 one day. I'll I could just... <laughs> you could buy it for $4. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I think I have the game, is what I'm saying. Unless, unless you can play it on PS4. Oh, yeah. Of, but, yeah. Um, I will get to it. It's just that the story just got way too much for me. 
And then there's a lot of ones that are like the portable ones, like Peace Walker and all that I've never played, but apparently... Oh, Peace Walker's good. Yeah, I heard it's good, but it's just, there's so many out there that and they're, they're, apparently the stories are canon, they're integral to everything else. Acid? Yeah. So like your solid acid is a good one? Yeah. All acid that, too? All that out there, and I'm, I'm just lost on it, so it was like this... I kind of like that... That, that's kind of the bright side of Hideo Kojima getting kicked out. Is like, I think he is a mad genius. I don't know. If, I don't think he knocks out the park every time, but I like his. I like how his mind works. So seeing him do something new, a whole fresh IP, I'm curious to see where he can take it. And that's what the, that's what this is. And I'm interested. I mean, I like the idea that they're kind of using. They're using certain real actors in it. They have Mads Mikkelsen, Norman Reedus, Margaret Qualley. And even directors like Guillermo del Toro and Nicholas Winding Refn or Winding Refn, which is kind of cool because Nicholas Winding Refn put Hideo Kojima in that TV show of his. So I want to see what they do with all that and how well it works. And the nice thing is, is that I think I feel like the technology that they're using has come so far where it doesn't just look like the actors. It's fucking good. Yeah, no. It's, like, it's I looked fun. at that shit, yeah. and I was like... It's no longer on Candy Valley. It's no longer on Candy Valley. It's no longer... The one that came for, for Xbox. Xbox. Guy, from Iceman from the X-Men movies. Oh, yeah. Um, not, did something break or something like that? Quantum, Quantum break. break. Quantum Break, yeah. Because even that was, yeah, like, he's kind of wacky, He's waxy. Yeah, he had him, him and the guy who was also in um, Horizons or Dawn was in there as well. Lance Reddick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Troy Baker's in it. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. (laughs) (laughs) I uh, pre-ordered the collector's edition. We'll see if I actually do it. I didn't play the whole... Because in Canada, it's 250. How how much did you put down? 250. I I put down 130. Oh, yeah? How much did they make you put down? At least 50? I don't know. I I think it would have been okay. I think I traded in the game, and I got 29 for it. So And I put down an extra... What game did you trade in? Oh, it's called Dragon's Dogma. Good choice. Yeah, I I, I didn't care. I, I wanted to like that game and I just no, but I could yeah. I could have called that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you told me that I was like, oh yeah, how do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was a chore. No, I was like, just, I'm not gonna get it. like the idea of an open world RPG on, on the, to take on the road was exciting, well, but the, it's the game just, isn't. But it's just too old. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's got it's got conventions. It's man. got some serious Japanese jank, like. Monster Hunter World has some Japanese jank, but this is like nothing. It's nothing compared to this. I didn't care for that game, so I, I have the half down on it. We'll see if I. I, I don't know if I will go the whole two fifty. Yo, I, I, yo, buy it. Let me look at sell it. it. Yeah, I might give you the two fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah. If that baby looks cool. Yeah. So I, I have the options. Like I did it because I, I don't have to commit to. It. I can get my money back. I can either keep it or I can sell, I can sell it and mark it up. Or, Hold on to it for two months. <laughs> yeah, so I so that's that's the option. So I, that, that's the plan. I, I bought I did that just for sake of it. I have no idea if I'll keep it. I'm sure I'm gonna get the game no matter what. Yeah. Because I mean it has to be seen to be believed. And I feel like even if it gets like shit reviews, it's kind of be a th- I doubt it will. But if it gets shit reviews, it's kind of a thing that it's almost super subjective because it's so out there. Yeah. Unless it just plays like shit. The Hideo Kojima games, the gameplay mechanics aren't necessarily. The the main hook of it is kind it is kind of story first. Yeah, if anyone's played Metal Gear Solid Five, you know that the gameplay mechanics are not the main. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, well, that game people gave it such high praise. Yeah, I think it had the Metal Gear Solid taint on it. Yeah, people were a little. Honestly, I love Metal Gear Solid Five. Metal Gear Solid One, my favorite oh, game for sure. That game changed changed my like the way I play games or the way I looked at games. But um, honestly, it wasn't fun. No. Other people were saying, you know, they're having so much fun. I'm like, it's just base crushing. I could play a better base crushing game. I play Far Cry New Dawn probably. It, it's more fun. It, Far Cry New Dawn is actually more fun. Yeah. It's just boring <laughs> after you do <laughs> certain amount of bases. And that's how I felt with Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah. I did about 10. And then I was like, I'm good. I never even played it. I have. I, I got that for free on, Metal, on a PS Plus as well. But yeah, it's there if I really am curious. But I don't know. Nothing about it was appealing. Actually, I actually played Ground Zeroes, and that wasn't... Oh, yeah. I bought Ground Zeroes for PS3. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. It was fun for the first 20 minutes. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> you can just walk to the plane? You can just walk to the helicopter? Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do shit? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. and also, I was, I was also a little butthurt because there was no David Hayter. Oh, yeah. It was a key for Sutherland or something. But I think it's because, you know... He's a clone. He's or... No, he's a guy who was made to look like... Okay. He had, like, a facial reconstruction thing going on. 
force. Because um, it wasn't actually him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that that makes enough sense. So I'm like, okay, that makes yeah. sense. And then I was like, fuck, Hideo Kojima's a fucking genius. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm surprised he hasn't been in this one. Like he's not. He I don't think there's anything about him. Being honestly, I don't think they, Death Stranding. Honestly, I think there might either be a clause against him working with David Hayter. Oh really? To reprise a role as a video game character. Oh, I, mean, I can see that. In one of Hideo Kojima's. Yeah, things. I can see that kind of shit. Because you know Konami, they yeah. put the fucking down no, on him. They let him go. They let him let I, Koji Igarashi use him for de, um, Bloodstain because he yes. plays Zengatsu in that. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, I love David Hayter's voice. If you can't find a manlier voice, yeah. <laughs> it's like part Wolverine, yeah, it's like, part... It's like a, a strict diet of cigarettes and whiskey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that That's a voice that's seen some shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then you see him in real life, you're like, huh. Yeah, he is like a he's bulky just, guy. Like he's a, just regular dude. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so overall, you're, you're getting Death Stranding too, then? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just pre-order it then. I'm yeah, not gonna worry about getting those collector's edition. Yeah, you'll see. I mean, if if, if, if the collector's edition is kind of cool, but not cool enough for you, yeah, maybe I'll sweep one up. Or, I'll see. Yeah, so or we will. You will sell it for a profit. Yeah, <laughs> the option's there now, at least. Yeah, we'll open it up <laughs> and then close it. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, it's selling out crazily because like, like, in the states, I heard you can't get any more. It well, because on the states it was available online. Yeah, in, in Canada it was not. Over here it was on the like I went to the site and it said it wasn't available first, and then I went to the site on eb.ca. It was. Oh, I went to eb.ca and it wasn't even. I and searched for it. That's what it was before, but then later, oh. later it was that, and it was like sold, and that's why I was like, okay, I'm just gonna run down and and get pre-order it now. Damn. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what I was asking you, but. Well, I, I, yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Honestly. I've lived without pre like uh, yeah. the big collector's editions. Yeah. When I like something, I actually buy. I bought shit after. Yeah. I'm like you know, what? I just want the stuff. It'll be out there. Someone will do it. Oh, for it, sure. So. I mean, I can buy myself a Pip Boy right now. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that <laughs> shit? <laughs> Guess what? Phones fit in there. None. They're made for iPhone fours. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's an oversight right there. <laughs> <laughs> shit. All right. So. All right, so I guess with that, we should just move on to the now, star of the show. I now let's preface this. We're talk. We're going to talk about a movie. Okay. It's called I Booksmart. I, I want to preface this with I actually never heard of this movie. <laughs> Thaddeus, who is a big movie buff, I honestly don't watch a lot of movies or TV. Yeah. Um, I just watch YouTube and play video games, so I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of nerd, yeah, apparently. I'm, I'm a movie nerd. And yeah, I'm a fucking... Dan's a dentist. Internet dentist and a piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, he goes... He told me he wanted to watch... want to talk about this movie called Booksmart. Yeah. And you said it was this year's Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. yeah. I did not know what you meant by that. <laughs> For any of you who, well, all of you who don't yeah, know. Yeah, because, I mean, we are kind of the odd men out. Crazy Rich Asians, Asians was a hit. It was, but we also recorded an episode a long time ago that never came out, where we literally shit on that movie for a good hour and 30 yeah, minutes. we got a lot of that to have. We almost went as long as the movie. But then a lot of it was kind of uh, interjected with. Adam Sandler. I don't know how. Yeah, well, that's when we also came up with the Adam Sandler <laughs> cinematic universe, which one of these days yeah. you are in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now this movie uh, was book smart. Yeah, it's supposed to be the new woke female super bad. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's Jonah Hill's sister. Yeah, Beanie Fettelstein. What the? F that's her fucking name. Like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, fuck! <laughs> I I have been trying not to swear. I think this is the first time it's, I'm in fucking shock. <laughs> oh, every time I think this movie can be more of a piece of shit. You bring that fucking out? <laughs> What's the name of low rent Ellen Page? Uh, something Deaver. I think it's like Caitlin Deaver. Oh, that's a nice name. You know what? Good job, Caitlin. Caitlin, you, you're a girl. Yeah, and it's directed by Olivia Wilde. Who's usually an actress, but hey, we all we all have a misstep. Because <laughs> I I, I, pre I appreciate you, Olivia. You know I do. <laughs> but what the fuck did you do? This is worse than Marco Robbie's Pitch Perfect shit. 
Pitch Perfect was passable. It was good. It started that cup song that everyone was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you know Mark Robbie's even in Pitch Perfect? Oh, wait, no, it's not Margot Robbie. It's, uh, who's the girl from Mar... Anna Kendrick? No, the girl from Hunger Games. That's all weird. Oh, um, Elizabeth Banks. Elizabeth Elis- Banks, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Pitch Perfect is Elizabeth Banks. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I just fucked up this whole thing. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> but we need, we need, we need blonde actress. <laughs> well, so... they're all blonde and white. They look the fucking same. <laughs> Except Margot Robbie's that dirt McGirt from yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. That I'm... She's Harley Quinn. I get it. Yeah. The hell does Elizabeth Banks do other than that? Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of things. She's like in, she was, she was like like the freaky girl in Forty Year Old Virgin. Oh yeah, the one that was in the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And oh yeah. She does a lot of stuff. If you think we're, we're jumping the gun on on tearing it apart, but it's <sighs> it's a teen coming of age comedy about two teen girls who are friends. Uh, they're keeners in school. They're, they're all focused on on grades and academics and trying to get into the best schools but one day they find out that the kids who they look down on are also getting into good schools so they're like what the fuck and they decide they're gonna have a crazy night of partying and that's the story right there one of them is a lesbian and hasn't really kissed anyone before and it's on about her journey to that too and the other is the jonah hill's sister with yeah. the ridic- beanie with Felstein. The- thank you <laughs> She is the uh, sort of louder, more boisterous. Yeah, the bossy one. The bossy one. Yeah. You know the kind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now. Yeah, so you seem like, for me, my personal experience with it was that I watched it on, I think, Sunday with my girlfriend. We traveled to the UK and watched it on UK Netflix to, uh, to watch it. And uh, how did you watch it, Dan? You fucking liar. I fucking downloaded it illegally. <laughs> Don't fucking lie to me. I saw you. <laughs> it is available on, on, on foreign Netflix. And you can, if you have a if, VPN. If you have a VPN. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were hanging out this weekend, man. <laughs> it was the day right after us. As soon as, as, soon as I got home, I flew to the UK just to the watch That was the Sunday. Yeah. flew to the UK just to watch this movie. <laughs> the plane didn't even land. It just kind of circled around and turned around. <laughs> But. <laughs> yeah, so I watched it that way, and then we, my, so my girlfriend and I sat there watching it, and we just had like, straight faces, like, didn't really laugh at anything. There's one gag which involves a uh, panda, and that was the part you laughed at, which my girlfriend did. I, I was just like, I can see why that's funny, but <laughs> holy fuck, that's about it. It was just the j- jokes were, were kind of just. They're, they were not jokes. No, they they were seemed really recycled. And I mean the the whole I the whole plot is recycled. It's any teen comedy, but especially super bad. And the a lot of them just kind of felt like, like sitcom jokes and they would almost stop and wait for a laugh at times. Well, when you say that this movie is sort of beat for beat, let's just say that if Super Bad were a new hope of Star Wars, this would have been Episode 8, or episode yeah, 7. The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens. 100%. Like, it was literally beat for beat. They just didn't bring Michael, Sarah, and Jonah Hill in and kill them off unceremoniously. I think they did with this one. <laughs> <laughs> there were no guys in this movie that had a testosterone count over 40. 40 is yeah. like you're dead or a child. Well, they tried getting that guy who's uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son to seem like he was an alpha male, but... He was blonde. Yeah. What blonde black guy... Is the alpha male. That's the guy who's getting bottom bitched in prison. Like, for real. That's the guy with the handkerchief out of his ass pocket. Letting you know he's down. Like, holy shit. I, I gotta stop swearing because, you know what? I said we we're gonna try no, and just, focus this. Just, just let but this. let's, let's Dan, just... Daniel and Chain. Let's just do it. <laughs> okay. Well, my personal feeling is I don't mind political messages mm-hmm. in movies. I don't either. This is... Low tier, we need to talk about gender politics every step of the way. This is wokeness. And the thing is that when people try to write this shit, these are the people that so they just submit so hardcore, they don't human write. It's it's forced. No one talks like a human no, person. No, it's really forced. And also, trying to be really aggressively political... And funny just comes across as Christian rap music. Like oh, it's kind God. of like like you're hardcore but you're not. 
or edgy, but not really. Yeah, we don't. We are pretty diverse. I mean, yeah. we like everyone. We're oh, yeah. two minority guys. I have gay <laughs> people in my life. Yeah. I'm not gonna out. I'm not gonna out them. <laughs> but like, it's both of our dads. Our dads are gay together. Gay together. <laughs> they're no. they're. Uh, they're uh, docking at this moment. Yeah. What were you going to say that? <laughs> you should probably cut that out. <laughs> uh, just cut most of that out. <laughs> but no, to be honest, I don't have a problem with this. I like a lot of movies that have this message. No, oh, yeah. But you got to put the movie first because if you don't person rate, it is awkward as shit. Mm -hmm. Like this is so low tier. This is not even like... Uh, you know, Chronicles of Narnia, Jesus stuff. Oh, man. And that yeah. was pretty, that was oh, laid on pretty nose, yeah. thick. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the lion comes back from the dead. Yeah. Three hours later, wink, wink. <laughs> 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 you know, his his apostles found him. <laughs> <laughs> and they were given the weapons to, okay, no, let's not get into Narnia anymore. <laughs> but honestly, this is just so low rent tier trash. Yeah, man. Like, everyone is... The wokest person that you ever Very seen on Instagram. So. It's just like the school is just, it's like, almost like fantasy world. Like they have the the, the cross the cross gender bathroom and cross gender bathroom. They had uh, the teacher that was down with the kids. Uh, they had the effeminate principal male. Yeah, well, who, it's the director's husband. Was that John Sudeikis? No, yeah, Jason Sudeikis. Jason yeah. Sudeikis. Yeah, uh, but also like. He's their principal, and he's negotiating with the student body fucking president yeah. about budget. Yeah. Who the fuck does that? <laughs> like, these people don't human properly. <laughs> Lisa Kudrow, she was in the movie. I almost forgot about that. She was not funny. No. They were making puns about food. Who was this written for? Yeah, it's just, it's like Big Bang Theory level comedy to me. No, Big Bang Theory is actually pretty genius compared to this. Wow, like, oh, wow. That's so yeah, funny. you heard me right. I fucking, Wow, you said that. Hey, I ain't gonna take it back either. I told you, <laughs> I would kill a baby before watching this movie again. <laughs> you can leave that in. Yeah. <laughs> and we should have just, it's just like had the caveat that like, we, we kind of touched on it. This isn't a th anything about it being about women or being about, or even it's just like the social messages. A lot of thing, a lot of female. It's just a shit yeah, movie. Like, one of my just... favorite shows was Veep, which had a female lead and strong female cast in it, and they're hilarious. It even has political jokes. I mean, by the nature of it, there's political themed jokes in it, and for the most part, that was a hilarious show and never got in the way of it. It also fit the context of the show because it's in, in the world of politics, so. But this, I don't know, it, it just stood out like a sore thumb. It just felt like I was getting a barrage of corny jokes and social... Justice. Like, and yeah, social social messages being beaten into my head. And just none of it none of it felt entertaining. And so I, by the end, I walked, I walked away just shaking my head. And then I was baffled because I watched it, seeing all these reviews, 95% of Rotten Tomatoes, or 99% of Rotten Tomatoes or something like that. All these critics just going gaga over it. Best movie of the year, or like, I haven't the movie's year's not over yet. It's, it's not my number one. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be part of my top ten or whatever. And I watched it. I'm like, did you watch the same movie? Like it's not that. Like it's it's not special at all. I like I mean, even if if they just like gave it mild praise, I understand. But the way they praised it is crazy. And then in the box office, it didn't make any money. Like it didn't even make the top five. And now there's a whole thing going on now where there are people, there are critics, and there are just like other fans of it chastising people for not seeing it, calling people stupid for not seeing it and all that. And it's like, no, it's just not a good movie. Yeah, it's it's an awful, awful movie. It's for honest. it's for a niche. I understand. It's for no one, to be I honest. Know. I can see I mean there are people who like it, so I can't say it's for no one. No, it's it is. It's for people smelling their own farts so yeah. they can pat themselves on the back. It's these this movie is for the exact people. Trey Parker and Matt Stone made PC Principal yeah, 4. Yeah, I can see that. Like, the people who do not... They, they put race above everything, but then they call other people racist. Yeah. They put gender above everything, but they call other people sexist. Yeah. <laughs> it's that fucking weird shit. Yeah. yeah that's and it. honestly, if you're trying to fight for equal rights, because I get it, not everyone has it, but fuck this movie. Yeah. This ain't helping your cause. <laughs> this makes me hate them. <laughs> 
just do what Scott Pilgrim did and have a gay character who's yeah. cool, yeah. who's not all about a one no gay thing. That's the thing. That's what it should, it should be. Is it's like characters can be themselves <laughs> without it being their identity. And with this, it wasn't that at all. Like this, the gay girl is definitely a whole thing about her. Her def- defining feature was being a lesbian. Uh, everyone was a one no character. Yeah, there's, there's, there's two the gay, gay guys. Yeah, and they're just and they are the gayest they're things in on theater, earth. and then everything is just. They're having thing. a murder mystery dinner party. Yeah, one's dressed in drag, yep. and the other, it looks like he's a piece of shit. <laughs> like, well, why do you think he's a piece of shit? I honestly, mean, no, he's like they. It's like they watched two episodes of, uh. Get queer eye for the straight guy, yeah. and then they boil that into one person. <laughs> like this is the most stereotypical shit I've ever seen. This is like what I think, like straight guys would write a gay character as. Well, it's kind of like it's I mean, insulting. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I also kind of see it as what look the guy who created Laquisha sees black people as. Yeah, it's so it's so fucked it's up. It's like it's like a thing where like I watched Laquisha and also watched. I'm not going to talk much about it, but there's a movie called Rim of the World where they have every minority character in it was a stereotype. They have the black kid who's like, oh, hell no! Nah. Oh, I ain't, I ain't doing that shit, motherfucker! He's just like, like like sassy and everything. Every scene he's in is a black joke. He has to make jokes with himself being black and all the other black guys make black jokes. There's an Asian girl who doesn't really talk, but then she's like the badass martial arts expert in it. And what she's movie there. is this? Rim of the World. It's like okay. YouTube, sorry, not Netflix original. Okay. It's like the ones like kids fighting aliens, and the, but yeah, she's there to be the white kid's object of affection, and the Hispanic kid is it has a criminal past. So it's like shit like that, where it's like a movie made, written and directed by white people who can only see minorities in a certain way, well, and this is kind of like this that. is exactly like it because this is just the SoCal <laughs> version of it. Oh yeah. What do we have? We had the effeminate black guy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We had the. Non-threatening Asian dude. Yeah, that's right. Right, the right. stoner. Yeah, it's always the it's always weird now because it's always the black guy is now secretly a nerd or openly a nerd. Yeah, the Asian guy is always a stoner now. <laughs> right, there's some sort of uh, ambiguous racial dude who's a hippie. Who's a hippie? <laughs> right, there's the there's the woke older black woman. Who fucks a student? She's yeah. a teacher, well, and she I mean, fucked a student. To be fair, he's, he he failed three times, so he's twenty years old. But it's still, I mean, that's still gross. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. And I was gonna say, I, I in university, I wanted to fuck my TAs, but they were they're close to my age, maybe like a few years older. Yeah, like that, that lady's so. clearly thirty. Yeah, like I was yeah. like, hey. Oh yeah, yeah. And then there's the lesbian, who's a closet she, lesbian. She, she, I think she's just like gender non-binary. Is what they no, described I, no, as. I wasn't talking about the skateboard girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was talking about the main character. No, she said she was out, and the mean lesbian girl. She said she was yeah. out, but oh, she okay. just hadn't really... She hasn't really expressed it. Yeah, she hasn't been successful. Right? Yeah. There's the uh, girl who got who got bullied because everyone thinks she's a slut, but yeah. she's not a slut. <laughs> In fact, she's a really good person. Yeah. And everyone just thinks she's a slut. <laughs> and she did nothing to clear that up. No. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then there's that romantic pixie girl who's... Always showing up everywhere, and then, oh, the the party girl that's yeah. always high, yeah, and is also is? a mystic. And this movie is full of nepotism because, like, there is Jonah Hill's sister, Olivia Wilde cast her husband in it, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son, and that girl was um, Carrie Fisher's daughter. This is like everyone's just like that. Ellen low rent Ellen Page. No, no, the, no, the uh, crazy, the, the the crazy girl was. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, they look like it. Yeah, yeah. Like honestly, this movie was just awful. Yeah, just awful. Yeah, it was just unenjoyable. Like, obviously you hated it more than I did. I fucking I just, hated it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I fucking hated this movie. Yeah. This was brutal. <laughs> I was texting you throughout the whole thing. Yeah. And for half of, for the yeah. first half of the movie, so I was like... You kept saying you're mad at me, but... I, I mean, was like, I hate you for this. Why you want to talk about this fucking movie? I, to- I didn't tell you to watch it. <laughs> just, just put it out there. Yeah, I but I wasn't going to gonna sit here while you waxed poetic... <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I let you do that for movies that I can't watch. Okay. You know, I'm not going to go out and watch Godzilla. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, we're not watching Godzilla. Fuck that movie. No interest in Godzilla. You put a letter, you just what, hold up waffles? Yeah, please. <laughs> like, I like that girl of a man. It's fucking Godzilla. Yeah. You don't need humans in that shit. <laughs> it's just Godzilla. Yeah, just get the might Asian. As well. Yeah, I might as well just make it all, all CG. Just get the Asian guy to point up and be like, 
Go see that. <laughs> That's all you need. Yeah. Just use talk for small movies. <laughs> Might as well do that. Software's no moving is to have the CG there. Yeah, you don't even need a real person. You just have it over a radio. Just over a speaker, and then you have people run away. <laughs> and it honestly doesn't even look that much better than the 1998 one. Yeah, well, fuck that one. Yeah, that was a nightmare. But honestly, this movie, Booksmart? Yeah. Oh, dear God. <laughs> it, I can't believe this went into theaters. Yeah, I mean, it was, the, the thing is, it had a weird release. It had... Uh, Released theatrical here, but as, as we kind of mentioned, everywhere else was on Netflix. Which yeah. honestly, it should have just been a Netflix original altogether. You know, if it was a Netflix original, I would not hate it as much. Yeah, it should have just been straight to Netflix all Like, uh, what was that one with uh, Samuel L. Jackson and uh, Captain Marvel? Brie oh, Larson? yeah, yeah. The, the unicorn, unicorn one? story, yeah. I watched that. That one was not great. No, it wasn't. I watched it at TIFF like two or three years ago. Oh, I watched yeah. it... T- after Captain Marvel came out, they yeah. put it on Netflix. Yeah, I was like, "This is not good." No, but it's also straight to Netflix. Yeah, so it's gotta be for someone. Oh yeah, this who? What theaters are they filling? This has to be a loss. Well, it, it didn't. I mean, it, it didn't even make the top five. If you're gonna watch a movie that is not gonna get a lot of hype, watch The Grizzlies. The Grizzlies is a Canadian movie uh-huh. or a movie about uh, that starts is in Canada. It's about uh, none of it. Okay. It's about this one town where the teen suicide rate is super high. Yeah. And so a teacher, a white teacher apparently, yeah. uh, comes in, he gets put out there, and he teaches them lacrosse. Okay. <laughs> and then the suicide rates start dropping because they have something to live for, yeah. which is lacrosse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check out It's that. like the Canadian, uh, what's that? Is that? Are you thinking of Cool Rings? No. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, Co- Coach Carter. Okay, Coach Carter. I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, <laughs> cool runnings. <laughs> it's not even that much of a sport. <laughs> it's not that like a sport, technically. Yeah. But there are a lot of those movies. Like the air up there. there are a lot of those movies about like someone. White men can't yeah, jump. The, yeah, there's like the, the white guy coming to some board place and teaching people how to play sports. There's enough of those out there. I don't know. If, I don't know if this last time is going to make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> Not fun editing. We'll see. We'll see. We, I think we, we got the content. You're going you're gonna to get like the first 10 minutes of just me fucking flipping out. <laughs> well, that's what it's for anyway. No, I mean, like, uh, I didn't have that much to say about honestly, the movie. Honestly, guess... these are softer takes than I had yeah. last night. Oh, yeah. Last, last night, night was the guttural reaction. <laughs> I was, I'm not proud of this. I ripped on Jonah Hill's sister. So hard. Yeah, you said some. some I said some, some shit. Harsh shit, man. Some harsh shit. I, I can't even. I don't know if you want to repeat it. I, like, I don't even remember what say, I said. If you say it, I'm not editing it. <laughs> just, just keep that in mind. I said her vagina is like the Medusa. Anyone who sees it dies. <laughs> she looks like Gru from Despicable Me, <laughs> but less fuckable and with broader shoulders. <laughs> I think these are these are actually great though. <laughs> I told you if you said it, I'm not editing it. She looks like the kind of girl that only gets fucked once. <laughs> but the guy finds out he's gay. I swear to God, you better fucking edit this shit out. I, I warned you, I told you if you say it. I'm not editing it. I told you, you didn't have to say it. Keep the despicable me part in. That one was actually good. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, so um, any closing <laughs> thoughts on Booksmart? Uh, I'm still pissed at you for a while. I'm still I, mad because you did. brought you brought this up. You're I like, brought it up. You're like, hey, like, I, I want to talk about this movie yeah. called Booksmart. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, it's this year's Crazy Rich Asians. I thought it was just going to be a typical white movie made with people of different color. No, I... I honestly <laughs> thought it was that movie you had with all the Asian people in it. Oh, that the like the funeral one? Or yeah, something? that's what I thought the movie was. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Because you said it was Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> Holy I shit. Yeah, I don't think Edmonds and more in that sense. It was a movie that was... Bland and mediocre that That got overhyped? Yeah, that's all I meant. Actually, yeah. you know what? No, this movie's not hyped at all. It's only hyped by the critics. Yeah, hyped by critics. Ain't no one else it. heard no, about no this movie. About it. And if you look on, like, Metacritic, the, the critic <laughs> reviews are, like, 90%, and then, like, the fan reviews are, like, 6% or something. No one... Or even, even lower, lower than that. Oh, dear. <laughs> well... So you, say, do you feel better now? You got, you got all of your system? No, I feel... I'm still mad. <laughs> I'm still upset. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I think everybody's got your... Uh, everyone got what they wanted? Yeah, everyone's got, got, got your general feelings on it. So we can probably call this, call this a wrap. Oh. All right, so with that said, any um, anything else you want to talk about, Dan? Or? Honestly, I'm really so, just so I'm angry and sad. <laughs> It's like I witnessed someone getting stabbed in front of me. And I don't know how to process it. <laughs> you can cut this out, but man, this is just true. Oh my god. I, I didn't sleep last night. Did I talk? I, I had you insomnia. It really, yeah. But I honestly was like so mad. <laughs> you really were like, oh yeah, that. When I was talking about how hot that black teacher was, you're like, Oh, she kind of looks like my sister. Like, normally I'd make a remark about how your sister's hot, but I think that movie made my dick stop work. <laughs> that you have to cut out. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, I told you anything you say about it. Is good. I don't give a shit. You sent it to me first. I cut, I'll cut it out myself. It'll just, it'll just drop right after Death Stranding. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's like. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> nope, and it won't even have an outro. It'll just end. People will think their download got fucked up. <laughs>